Hi everybody, welcome back to Chill Vibes Only, CBO Wellness. My name is Allie, and today we are going to be talking about how to drop the shame around sex. So I get a lot of DMs from you guys and a lot of questions and comments about, you know, I grew up in this environment where sex was like framed as this really like maybe shameful thing to do or that we shouldn't be doing it or that it's bad or we can't talk about it or it's only meant for specific circumstances and then as you grow up and you evolve and you learn and you become your own person and you're exposed to much more information you decide that those beliefs don't necessarily align with who you are now and who you want to be. So today's video is going to be all about how do we drop that shame and that narrative that was taught to us at a young age and you know move into one that might align a bit more with our own personal beliefs now. And that's like one thing I want to make very clear is that you have to want to drop the shame around it. If you agree with everything, you know, that you learned growing up and like that's just how you feel about sex, then that is totally fine and totally okay. But if you find yourself like being like, no, actually, like I don't want to think this way about this topic or I don't want to have this relationship with sex anymore um, that is rooted in shame, I want to change that, uh, then this video is for you. But you have to decide that you want to do that and you have to decide that, you know, you want to choose a different thought pattern. Just like anything else in life, you have to live your life for you and what's going to best align for what's going to bring you the most joy and happiness and peace. So today's video is all about how to drop that shame. And the first step of doing it is actually acknowledging the shame and acknowledging where it comes from, who taught you this, um, you know, where did you get these ideas about sex? So maybe it was family, maybe it was faith, maybe it was movies, maybe it was books, um, maybe it was your friends, you know, maybe it was just the society that you grew up in. So I would actually write down like sex and then write down like all the things that you um, feel shameful about it and where you actually learn to feel that way. So it's like if you felt shame around like having sex for pleasure and not to have a child, you write down that shame and then write down where you learn that from. So maybe you learn that from a family member or maybe you learn that from a friend or maybe you learn that through a book. Write down where it came from and acknowledge like, okay, this is the shame and this is where it came from. So you get clear for yourself where these limiting beliefs are stemming from. Oftentimes people shame us or people apply shame to control us and it's not necessarily always intentional. Sometimes it's subconscious, sometimes it's what the person thinks they're doing what's best for us, um, you know, it's what they learn. There's a lot of unlearning that needs to happen that many people won't end up doing, um, which is fine. That's not your burden to carry, but you're in charge of your life. So if someone's shaming you, I always like to think about like, okay, how is this person benefiting from the shame? Like, how are they benefiting from, you know, making me act in a certain way or trying to control me to do a certain thing? Sometimes it's just for that person's own comfort, right? So a lot of times we get shamed because people feel uncomfortable that someone else would have a different opinion than us. Uh, so it's important to like acknowledge that and tell yourself like, okay, but I don't want to be controlled by this person and I don't necessarily want to buy into this belief because your comfort and your peace is more important than trying to keep everybody else around you comfortable. All right, so once we acknowledge where the shame is coming from, the second step is to ask yourself what relationship you want to have with sex. So maybe it's one that's like really comfortable. Maybe it's one that's exploratory. Maybe it's one that's you know, often, maybe it's one that's with many people. So whatever experience or whatever, you know, relationship that you want to have with sex, write it down and be really honest with yourself about what you're looking for. So you can be clear on, you know, the beliefs that you want to now start to encompass and incorporate in your life. Okay, and then once we have our new beliefs, this is where the work comes in and this is where practice and time and compassion come into play. So when we have a limiting belief, so something that was in our first list come up or a shame topic that comes up around sex, we need to, you know, rewire our brain. So we need to say, hey, you know what? I acknowledge and I have compassion for myself for having this limiting belief. It became from this source, 
but I don't want to live my life that way anymore and I don't want to have those thoughts anymore. So I'm gonna to choose to see this differently and I'm gonna see it as this instead. And that's where we pull from our second list. And that's easier said than done. It's not something that you can just do once. You have to do it over and over and over again and start to live in your new values. So, you know, do the opposite of what your brain is initially telling you to do. Start to rewire those pathways and get more comfortable in your new frame of thought. And that just takes time, it takes patience, it takes compassion, but you have to constantly tell yourself like, nope, that's a limiting belief from this that was used to control me or used to do this with me, and I'm choosing to see a better way and a better path forward, and I'm gonna see it in this light instead. Remind yourself that you have the power over your thoughts and your beliefs, and you can choose to change the way that you see things. Um, so for example, if it is like the, you know, sex is only for creating life, maybe you can rewire that thought to be like, you know, when I was growing up, my family members told me that sex was only for creating life. And they did that in order to protect me from having a life come into th this world before I was ready. However, now that I'm an adult and I feel confident and safe and secure in my life, I want to choose to see sex as something that I can do for pleasure and something that I can do to make me feel connected to others and to make me feel good in my body. And I'm going to choose to see it that way instead. And then my last tip is to get educated. So obviously work on reframing your thoughts, but then read books, watch movies, you know, start to consume content that more aligns with who you want to be. So there are so many great, wonderful books on sex and relationships out there. Um, there's Sex Talks. There is um, Come As You Are by Emily Nagowski. Uh, Lori Brado has a lot of really great books on sex and mindfulness. Um, so definitely do your research, check it out, listen to people who align with your new beliefs and start to re-educate yourself in the way that most aligns with who you want to be. Alrighty, so that is today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe because that really helps this channel and feel free to share it with anybody who you think will be helpful for as well. As always, we are at CBO Wellness on Instagram. Give us a follow there for more information and we'll see you for another video shortly.